Hi, I'm Lucas, team leader of Earth4. Uh, my team is here in San Marcos, uh, doing flood recovery with the Blanco River Regional Recovery Team. Service learning goals. Our first goal was to gain a greater understanding of our community and its needs and the impact that we had. Hayes County, the community that we served, had been affected by the Memorial Day and the Halloween flood of 2015. Homes needed to be gutted and mucked, cleaned up, and also repaired. Our sponsor, Tracy Maxwell, and our team had been thanked many times by the residents that we had helped. Also, Martindale's mayor, Randy Bunker, and many of the community members that we met had thanked us many of times, making us feel the great impact that we had made on the community. Our second service learning goal was to become more sustainable in our everyday lives as a team and individually. As an activity, we went to, we were given a lecture um, from Amy Kerwin, the solid waste co coordinator of San Marcos, and she gave us an introduction about how San Marcos is becoming more sustainable in their everyday lives. An example of that is that they have recycling and composting available for the residents in their homes and in public spaces. Amy Kerwin also helped us get composting in our housing and also recycling available that we could bring to Green Guy Recycling Center. We also did a tour at Green Guy Recycling Center, which is the recycling center and a restore center. And here we were able to learn to recycle, what can't be recycled, how to recycle, the environmental impacts of recycling, the financial benefit of it. Our third goal was to grow individually and as a team. So at the end of each week, we would discuss highs, lows, and also give a shout out to each other to reflect on the week that we just worked on and also praise each other for each other's hard work. As individual learning plans, activities, we were able to each identify the learning Life After AmeriCorps goals and also some of our core members have started applying to jobs, service after AmeriCorps, and also study for exams as college entry exams. Through team builders, we were able to get to know each other a little bit more individually and also grow as a team. So through this round two, everyone was able to grow more and get to know each other more. And we were able to learn more about San Marcos, Hayes County, and have a great experience. Accomplishments. Earth 4 mucked and gutted nine units, supported two disaster facilities, demolished one structure, removed over 13,000 pounds of trash and debris, renovated 16 homes, registered 190 people for assistance, submitted six need assessments, and repaired 1,461 feet of fencing. Challenges and solutions. A lot of the work we've been doing this round is actually new to us, so there's always that concern that uh, if we made a mistake, we might be negatively impacting somebody's home. Uh, due to this, we've made sure to be extra cautious and ask as many questions as possible. Another challenge that we've come across is just the physical strain of the labor. It's uh, very manual labor intensive. Um, we've, as a team, tried to make sure to decompress and have as much relaxation time as possible, keeping our meetings uh, consolidated in the week to be able to relax. We have encountered a multitude of critters such as scorpions, black widows, possums, and more. We have stayed vigilant and situationally aware to avoid being bitten. A further challenge we have faced is our plans falling through at short notice. We've We've done our best to make adjustments and thanks to our sponsors we were able to come up with new work when needed. Civic engagement. Our team met our civic engagement goals by reaching out to the broader communities of San Marcos, Wimberley, Kyle, and Martindale and communicating with homeowners and also being able to communicate with city officials. In one particular instance we met with the mayor of Martindale, Randy Bunker, who showed us around town and told us about the various community, the history here, both in San Marcos and Martindale, and also the floods and the residents that were affected by them. We also have been able, through various SLAs, to go to different historical museums, such as the LBJ Museum. Uh, we've been able to go to the Hispanic Cultural Center. Also, we've been able to go and participate uh, on, at the MLK Junior March on Texas State University. Interesting, the interesting to note about Texas State University is the only college in Texas that graduated of former president, Lyndon Baines Johnson. 
Also, through other various different ISP projects, we've been able to get a better appreciation for the community and for the members here who have been affected by the floods. In one such instance, we toured Green Guy Recycling Plant, and we were also able to uh, help out with a river cleanup by the San Marcos River. So we've been able to communicate with homeowners by phone and through in person to hear their stories, to understand uh, how they were affected by the floods, and also be able to participate in various service learning projects and also through ISPs to get a better appreciation of the culture here, the history, and the community here in San Marcos and its neighboring towns as well. Community and social issues. So San Marcos is the U.S.'s fastest growing city, um, but as great as that sounds, it also comes with a number of community and social issues as well, namely poorly regulated and irresponsible development. Um, in order to accommodate for the city's rising population, what's happening is that municipal leaders are allowing for housing complexes to be built directly in flood-prone areas. And this proved to be rather dangerous in 2015 when San Marcos was hit with two floods within months of each other. The first was in May during Memorial Day weekend and the second hit in October. Another prominent issue that Earth4 encountered was the financial barriers impeding recovery. Um, many of the homeowners that we met um, reached out to our sponsor because of insufficient FEMA funds or um, a pre-existing lack of financial resources to rebuild on their own. And many of them were living in low-income households um, whose financial strains made it really difficult for them to fully recover from the damage of the floods. So for example, um, we met some families who were living in homes um, with mold, insulation, no insulation, debris, uh, rather undesirable conditions, and they were often living um, under these circumstances for months before they were able to receive assistance, um, simply because they didn't have the, the means to relocate or rebuild. Yeah. And overall, learning about these issues has helped Earth4 um, better understand the community of San Marcos, and it's helped us better understand the complexities of disaster mitigation and disaster relief. Um, yeah, by being able to work alongside community members and being able to listen to their concerns and grievances firsthand, we were able to gain a more intimate perspective of the floods, which helped us form a more meaningful connection to our work, as well as our roles in the long-term recovery process. Skills. Since we all came from different projects, we all came in with different skills and skill levels. While several of the skills were new to a lot of us, others were able to further develop the skills they already had. The focus of our work here in San Marcos has been repairing homes damaged by the floods from May and October. Because of this, most of the skills we've uh, learned and developed have been related to construction. These include tiling, drywall, insulating homes, and using a variety of tools. In addition to these hard skills, the team also developed their soft skills, including communication, flexibility, and teamwork. All of these skills will benefit us in the future. And while the soft skills are always gonna be helpful to us, it's the hard skills that are gonna make us more independent individuals and will be a greater asset to our communities. Should a similar disaster happen in our own communities, we'll be able to help serve from a local level. Future service. As a team, Earth4 has gained much personal growth. We have gained new skills that we can not only use for future service in AmeriCorps, but also for future service in our lives. We have been able to learn how to give back and help each other in a natural disaster. From debris removal on properties and in rivers, to home repairs of houses hit by floods, we can apply these skills and effectively help one another in the event of future natural disasters. We have been able to maximize our team's potential and help one another in busy situations. A lot of our work wasn't able to be accomplished unless we had a partner or unless the whole team was willing to cooperate with one another. After a few times in the beginning, it became natural for all of us to step in and get the job done. We've trained ourselves to not only train ourselves individually, but to help each other and others in our community.